the magic of Christmas. It's the most peaceful time of year, a great time to show appreciation to the people in your life, and if you're a kid, young or adult, Christmas means one thing and one thing only, toys. Hey everybody, to start this off, I wanted to give a little background. I bought this figure almost a year ago and it didn't ship until almost spring this year. Christmas had long since passed, obviously, so I thought it'd be a treat to hold on to this one until the next holiday, and many months later, here we are. First thing, I wanted to give a sense of what you get with this figure when you buy it from the time you open it up to the time you pull it out of the packaging and everything that comes with it. So the first thing you're going to see here, obviously it does come with a printed cardboard box with the Fantasy Box logo on it. My recording booth has limited space, so at least for this part of the video, it might be kind of tight in the frame. Inside the box, everything is encased in a nice bubble wrap. We open that, and you've got the gift box itself. We'll set that aside for a second here. At the bottom of this box is this really nice gift bag. So if this were a present and you didn't want to wrap it, the box fits in there perfectly. It has a nice fantasy box logo and this really nice corded cloth. It's almost like a velvet rope. Tapered in pieces with some type of tape or thermal plastic. This bag is made of high quality paper with a satin finish. The box itself is wrapped in cellophane plastic with a resealable tape on the end. Very nice. And here's the box itself. Beautiful little package. Line art of the Santa Claus figure here. Merry Christmas ribbon all around it. Nicely done. Another nice touch is this box has not one, but two magnetic latches. I'll show the second one in a little bit. So the lid closes securely with a satisfying snap. Anyway, the figure is obviously the centerpiece, but the heart and soul of this thing is really all about its presentation and the act of giving a gift. And here it is. All the pieces here surrounded in this custom foam packaging keeps everything in there secured nicely. The underside of the lid has space to include a Merry Christmas note if you wanted to write something nice here. Okay, let's start taking some stuff out. So yeah, we've got this really nice metal and enamel pin here. Very cute, very classy looking. This is high quality material and it's got some real weight to it. It's attached to this nice cardstock with a beautiful satin finish, similar material to the gift bag. It's cool. One thing about this is, it seems like the intent for the envelope is to hold the enamel pins card, but that's too large to fit, so there may be some other use for it. Maybe a nice note to whoever you are giving this set to. Here's the instruction booklet. It's beautifully illustrated, detailed instructions to show how to transform either from the character to its box mode, or on the reverse side from box mode to its character mode. Beautiful artwork on the cover here. Santa Claus is a very busy fellow and he's hauling ass. Also comes with the catalog. This figure came out last year, so catalog is going to show figures from two or three years ago. Okay, Santa includes a custom box charger. Beautiful design. I love the transparent ruby red. Merry Christmas on the front. Gift box graphics on the top here. Frosted sides. Now for the main attraction. It's a small figure with a lot of moving parts, and he's packed in there really tight, so you want to be delicate about removing him. And just to give you a closer look at this insert, this thing is unbelievably thick. Probably somewhere between 3 and 4 inches. It's a solid chunk of foam for sure. So back to that second magnetic latch. Underneath the lid is a little bonus pop-up display. Nice! I love this artwork. Unfortunately, the pop-up pieces don't quite raise up all the way, which is not a huge deal, but does somewhat limit its displayability. Even so, you can still put your Santa up on there riding his little reindeer sled. How cute is that? Okay, we'll go ahead and take a moment to spread everything out. There's a whole lot of Christmassy cuteness on display here, and a lot of red. All right, let's take a closer look at the Santa Claus figure. You get these little red-nosed reindeer riding on these runners. 5-2 Toys never misses an opportunity to work in some great little details and Easter eggs. Naturally, each reindeer has its own personality. One looks a little bit naughty, the other looks kind of nice. Yeah, you've got this gold star on the Christmas tree top and a 1225 placard. Cute little caterpillar treads here, tail lights, and an articulated skid plate on the back there. Nicely designed graphic imprints in silver and gold. Gifts. Handle with care. Xmas. Happy New Year. And it has some cool little pixelated stars and graphics. Love it. One quick thing I want to point out, Santa is supposed to be holding onto the reindeer horns, although they don't really attach that well to the top of their heads. Although at a glance it totally works, but just be aware that part isn't solidly attached. You might also note that the reindeer doesn't exactly sit level to the ground. The only way I've been able to get them to appear connected to Santa's hands is if you have them raised up slightly above the wheel. Again, not a huge deal, but it's a detail that's worth a mention. Without further ado, we'll go ahead and transform this cute little Santa Claus figure into his gift box mode. First step is separating the sides of Santa's bag of goodies. 
These panel pieces can be flipped down at this point. These antler pieces fold down inward. Santa's arms need to come out from the shoulders. So you just pull those out like so. Now his wrist will actually turn inwards towards his body to raise upside his head, just like so. Now you want to detach Santa from his seat. Raise him up and out of the way like so. That gives you a lot of clearance so you can get the other pieces inside. The 1225 placard folds in. The caterpillar treads fold inward. Reindeer are attached to these runners by ball joints, so you just pop them off like so. The front tips fold backwards. At this point, the reindeer are going to fold up and into the gift bag. So you can rotate that around like so, and this whole piece slides inward. Fold the running board straight out. This entire piece is going to fold up. The reindeer back connecting part pivots back as far as it'll go. Then you're going to rotate this piece up and over. The big wheel is going to fit inside this cavity. The reindeer need to be rotated back, so they're basically situated vertically on these hinges. On the inside of the sled are these little pegs. The runners don't actually snap into place there, but it works as more of like a holding position. You're going to have your reindeer figures about in that configuration. Now once you got them like that in the proper position, they're going to fold up and into the big old bag and position like so. This creates a flat base for Santa Claus to fit into. Santa Claus has this little porthole on his back which snaps into that tab. Then he basically lies flat up against the rest of his sleigh. Now you just flip around the top part of that panel like so. Santa's bag has connections here, here, and here. It all connects pretty solidly from three points. You basically just push everything together and then it'll snap nicely into place. For finishing pieces, the tail light needs to fold down and in. And finally, we can just flip this little skid plate into position like so. And you get yourself a cute little gift box mode. I love the way all the pieces fold up neatly into Santa's bag. It has these nice beveled edges and corners, great little details of the sled sticking out, like the taillights, Christmas tree, and the top of Santa's head. Altogether, it's a very cute design. Now it's time to give Fantasy Box Santa a box grade. This is my rating system of 5 points possible in 6 categories for a total score between 0 and 30 points. It's cartoony, loaded with a lot of great Christmas references and detail, and emblematic of what 5 2 Toys does best. Create interesting, charming little characters. 5 out of 5. The entirety of this figure is probably more about the presentation than it is the figure itself, and it presents itself extremely well as a gift with a lot of extra goodies. 5 out of 5. This one is a relatively challenging transformation. It's doable without instructions, but requires a bit of puzzle solving skill, but ultimately satisfying and has a cute, unique box mode. 5 out of 5. As far as articulation, I mean, this is not really an action figure, so what can you expect? The one rotating wheel is fine, but by design, this figure really can't roll. 2 out of 5. Construction is totally fine. Not a lot of exposed screws. Occasional gaps might occur in one of the boxings, but that's easily resolved by scrunching it in. No major complaints. 3 out of 5. The fun of this figure is just how darn charming it is. It's a great display piece, and I think anyone who appreciates neat little holiday widgets and got this as a gift would love it especially with the package presentation and all the extra goodies in the box. This figure is special. 4 out of 5. That brings the box grade total to 24 out of 30. I think the argument could be made that 5 2 Toys Santa Claus is unique among its Beast Box, Mega Box, and Fantasy Box lines in that it's not so much about the figure itself and that's really intended to capture the spirit of the holidays and the ritual of giving a gift. Even so, it's a great little figure and really makes for something enjoyable to share with someone you love, or why not? Check this out. Thanks, Donna. It's a great gift. In any event, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or subscribe. Thanks again, and happy holidays, everyone.